Hello, my name is Deanna Wilkinson. I'm an associate professor at Ohio State in the College of Education and Human Ecology. We would like to dedicate this video presentation to the survivors, and families, and friends of homicide victims in the city of Columbus. This presentation moves us beyond statistics to really examine the patterns and get a handle on ways that we can strategically tackle this problem and restore peace to our city. There are many sources of knowledge about what it takes to stop gun violence and prevent homicide. Some of the ideas that I'm working from are discussed in this book, Bleeding Out, by Thomas Apt. He articulates three principles for violence prevention, focus, balance, and fairness. There are three main strategies, ways that we should focus our time and attention, people-based, place-based, and behavior-based strategies. And all those involve potential victims, potential offenders. And what we know is that the same places, same hotspots, same behaviors since 2000. Here's a map of central Ohio with Columbus in the center. We're going to first take a look at the locations of homicides in each of these red crosses represents the location of where a homicide occurred in Columbus in 2021 so far this year. We can layer on that hotspot analysis that tells us where we have statistically significant concentrations of homicide and what you will see here is that there are some very intense spots and more than three significant hot spots. We can also go further. Now we'll add the locations for 2020 and the locations for 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016. All of the location data tells us something about what's happening in place. When we populate the map with more than just the locations, but acknowledge the names of each person we've lost to homicide here in the city of Columbus, it's quite powerful and quite devastating to realize that in a small geographic area, so many lives are being lost. And uh, throughout this presentation, we're gonna kind of focus on those locations and the people who um, are no longer with us and what we can learn from these patterns to help stop the next homicide. Holding people accountable for their behavior is one important aspect of stopping gun violence. Law enforcement plays a major role in that. And on this slide, you see the cases that have been cleared by arrest, the cases cleared by an exceptional circumstance. In most cases, it's um, suicide or of the perpetrator or some other special circumstance. A few suspects are out on warrants and almost 53% of the 89 are active ongoing investigations. Next, we will look at victims by the locations and the status of cases. And these are organized by geographic areas, starting with the farthest north in Columbus and working our way down to the farthest south point where there has been a homicide. For each geographic area, you will see the victim's photo age, date of the event, and the location. 